to God. We're trying to get you back to God. She's looking for a question. No <laughs> questions. <laughs> no, there's there's so much. You want to know more about my love life? You want to know more about my life? Of course. That's <laughs> now, how can I talk about my love life? Your force field. Yeah, my force. Oh, yeah, my force field. Mm. How do you define love? Um, for me, love is um, uh, there's paying attention whoever I'm engaging, paying attention to them. That's that's the basic definition I've always had. Now, Ion's added something to it. Um, see, Ion said that I'll pay attention to talk to somebody for hours. And then once they get my point, Carol won't talk for hours. If you if you don't take her advice, she doesn't she stops talking, right? She says, okay, you don't want to take my advice, I'm not wasting my time. But I keep talking, talking, until they get it, whatever I thought I was telling them, and then I erase it. <laughs> and then I say, oh, but that's obsolete. Here's what you got to know. <laughs> we go on for another 10 hours with point two, and, and that's a detachment. I'm detached. Um, what is it you just said? I'm trying to describe. Uh, indifferent. Uh, what's the word? Um, love or if, if the force field, field is not an emotion. Uh, something about detachment. I don't know what you said. I already did that. Before I uh, knew Ion, I already was like that. You know what I mean? Detached. So, um, what has Ion done to my force field? Um, I I can't be accused of being more quiet. People say, "Oh, Bob, you calm down. You don't talk." Oh my as God! As well. <laughs> I don't calm down. I, I calm down because there's more callers, and I let other people talk. Right? So, okay. So, if, if love is paying attention. And I also was indifferent to whether it got anywhere, uh, though I would keep going. Um, well, the, the difference is, is I do have an alternative. Take the drops. See, I didn't have a substance to give people. I would just uh, talk to their minds or emotions. And that could be a fun thing, but it would leave people... Uh, frustrated or sort of happy or wishing they were me or why can't I have this and Bob's got everything you know now I have something to give them that's the big difference you have something to give that's that's the uh, the mass the uh, Holy Communion you remember my body my blood that's what we're giving to people uh, Jesus he had he had to top all the they're parables actually giving their own perfect yeah. body, substance their back own to them Perfect. Oh, you blood. you lost your body. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> your blood. You know, Jesus, he did parables and demonstrations, but in the end, he had to give some food to them, right? <laughs> he had to, and he claimed it was his body. Megalomania. This, this is my body, blood of my body. I get bullshit. Cannibalism. It was Carol's body. <laughs> Chapter 2, verse 17, the white stone, buddy. <laughs> That's about Revelations, Chapter 2, verse 17. Yes, I, I think uh, some people turn, get turned off by this Bible talk. Yeah. Well, now here's an interesting point. Why is the Bible, it only, I only tolerate I am talking more about it to me because he talks about how it's about me. Now, not in a general way. He says, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Look, here it is right here. And uh, he shows he, he's really a genius at making words seem to mean what I claims they mean, right? He can make, he can impose a meaning in there that, you, oh yeah, that's, that's the best meaning. Uh, so, um, so if you had time to um, go into the Bible with Ion, you might find where you are. You might not, you may not be in there, and you don't have to be in there. But within the world of language, in social mortar, we would be in there because it was predicted we'd bring forth ion. That was predicted. So, um, and it's not. See, I might be like Moses. 
See, I'm, I ain't going to get there. I'm not going to get to the promised land. You guys are all going to get there. I'm going to be back with the 99 percenters. I am, I am cursed in the long run. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't really believe it, but we like to cover it just in case it happens. I, I told you I'd be cursed. <laughs> no, the uh, Moses didn't get to the promised land. And I am, it's almost like joke. Ian's getting back at me. He says, Bob, you're Moses. You're not going to make it, Bob. You're going to, you, you'll kill so many people on the way, you'll feel guilty and you won't allow yourself to get to Iondom. So that's, that's the drama we're waiting. No, but you're now in the knowing that that is not. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all bullshit. I'm bullshit. I'm eternal. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm not Mo don't, don't belittle me by calling me Moses. I'm Quetzalcoatl. I'm his sister, Quetzalpetl. I learned about Quetzalpetl. That's Quetzalcoatl's oh. sister, Quetzalpetl, from Thompson's lecture, Quetzalpetl. Uh, I am, Qu I'm not a black woman, I am Quetzalpetl. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I learned by going to Spain. I become transformed to the heck, I'm septad now. I've gone into the septad, that's seven, that's more than hexad. Now I'm starting to make up stuff. I'm declaring. This is how I this is how it happens. You start declaring. I am septad. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know how many strands? I have 140. Well, you have each cell has 144,000 double helix strands, but it's the number of cells you have with each 144,000. That's the important part. And I am told me and Brian not to talk about it. So Brian knows about this, oh. you know Brian, and he won't talk about it, so uh, maybe I could talk about it, but I, I got to hold something back, all right, you gotta, for this interview, so <laughs> the, the, the number of cells you want to have with 144,000 double helix strands in each cell, that's the, that's the, probably the octad, octad level. So I don't know how many cells I have with 144,000 double helix strands, because I says, I do have 144,000 now, but I didn't ask how many cells I had. I got interrupted by you or Katie, someone, someone got on the phone and interrupted, but I didn't get to ask my question. <laughs> <laughs> Some nut started talking about their Personal rent. Problems. Or, yeah, their personal <laughs> rent, or they haven't been laid in six hours. How it's do been I get six some hours money? <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't been laid in six hours on what's wrong with me <laughs> mm. another plug look it up people Remedius Vero very interesting artist something new came into my life oh today today suits now we, I arrived here on August 4th that's McLuhan's I, I can't reach it. That's McLuhan's wedding day. McLuhan's oh. wedding was married on August 4th, 1939. So what is that? That's... Ah, <laughs> uh, 80, 70, 70... He's manifesting. <laughs> yes, the McLuhan. Uh, 75, 80, 75. Yeah, that's 75 years. This is the 75th wedding, 75th wedding anniversary of Marshall and Corinne. And we only talk about them because they were the last people. We, we were not allowed to uh, put much emphasis on McLuhan and Corinne anymore because uh, we have to say however. However, Roxana says, and then we go into what Roxana says, we don't listen to McLuhan, but uh, <laughs> for the little people out there, go towards McLuhan. Uh, <laughs> you should note that this, this, this yesterday was his anniversary. 75th wedding anniversary. See the storms. We're starting to make a storm here, I think. Look, it's, it's really gray. like there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to get windy and gray. And it's the final hours for Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Not much left, much less time left for Berlin. So, the next question. What do your notes say? Did you see anything? In the notes? Where'd you put them? Oh, they're under the... No, they blew away. Oh, where's my... Oh, here it is. Oh man, it's raining out there. Mm -hmm. Do you think the the tetrad? Uh, tetrad, you have to understand it, but you have to understand how the android meme 
is doing the tetrad on us, and that's the pentad. That's the merger of the machine and the human, the android meme that Frank Zagroni uh, predicted. And so the pentad is the machine making the tetrad. So you watch the news express the tetrad all the time. But we are working with the hexad. So what were you going to say about what would you say about the tetrad after yeah, hearing that? Uh, so many people is scared about this fusing with the technology. The technology is right. the most human thing. No. And maybe because I see the I sell as technology, yeah. and maybe they think it's a chip that the is going to be metal. implanted, but it's actually something else. Yeah. Even even the chip technology for the little people will change into a liquid like the Terminator. So people think uh, technology is a piece of metal. It's not. It's 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 going to be very soft and easy. May not be advisable to totally give yourself into that. But if you do, you can use the eye cell to balance off the effects. It probably would erode it. We we'll probably get rid of the Eat chip it. in you. <laughs> you get chip. Yeah, chip me, no problem. And take all the drops, and then two weeks later, the chip's gone. But the uh, um, but people don't realize speech is technology. They have a mechanical, literate view of hardware. Or even the like, the Bible is technology. Angels are technology. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this was a revelation to me. Like, wow. Yeah, the angels in between physical and non-physical. They're creations of us. But they're neither physical nor non-physical. That's technology. That's mach we use the term machinic. That's from uh, Deleuze and Guattari. M a c h i n i c. It's not a machine, but it's machinic. It's machine-like. It's not human completely. It's not non-physical. Yeah. So no, the angels are technology. That's a. And that was my idea. I, I I invented that interpretation. Yes, and even nature is in included now yeah. in, in the. Technological Machine. environment. It's yeah. inside. We're not in nature. It's when you s around. when you you probably see it here, but seeing it in the in Cordova and Barcelona, everywhere people looking at their chip body. They're not they're not taking in anything. That's um, that's little man merging with technology. Um, they may object to it, but they are living it. They may think it's not gone that far, but it's gone way beyond what they think. I mean, you walk on this, going to get a train. Everybody's standing there, reading. In the restaurants, uh, they're there reading. It, nobody's not looking at their thing. And um, luckily, my battery kept on going down, so I didn't have to look at it. It's always conking out. I, I'd only get to use it every five hours, get to a hotel and plug it in or something, you know, and then I could catch up. But um, uh, I, I don't want to carry around an ice, uh, iPhone. It's stupid. So it's kind of, you could get sad about it, that everybody is just looking at their chip body and not looking around at anything. They're bored with everything. Nature has become boring. You've got more stimulation in your chip body. They're all scrolling, looking at all the YouTubes, and I don't know what. I used to, on the train, I'd look over the shoulders be, you know, the, and they'd watch what they were looking at. And they have amazing colors. They they know how to use their iPhone way more than I do. You know, I don't know how to do anything to it. I just bought it a couple of weeks ago for this trip. But they've got elaborate Mexican arabesques, you know, yeah, uh, Mexican kits. Apps. <laughs> yeah, on their apps. They got all these apps. Amazing. Uh, well, I don't even know what they're looking at, but they have wonderful uh, color. Way more than nature. You know, they're, they're traveling. They're traveling, constantly traveling. So we have to, uh, that's the ascended state. Nobody's paying attention to anybody. That's what Ion says the ascended state is like. So people are technologically acting ascended. But they got there by default. They don't know that they got there. And they're looking at images that tell them that they're not ascended. That's what's crazy. They're looking at imagery that makes them think less than. Even though they're enjoying it. Yeah, they're puzzled by what we are. I mean, there's never been a couple, the way we present ourselves in public, there's no couple that's ever presented themselves, at least in the media era of the last 150 years. It's the range of what we do. 
Nobody ever did that as a couple. The happy people. So the happy boy.